What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Hopped Up Shots. Thanks to everyone who hung around for episode one. This is the place where we combine our love for beer and photography. Every week, we're rolling out to a beer store, beer distributor, and looking to see what they have in cans that are super cool looking, sound interesting. And then I'm going to take you through the whole process of coming up with ideas, styling them, editing them, the whole nine, all the way to that finished product. So stick around and see what's on tap for this week's choice. Black Lotus Coffee Stout by First State Brewing Company. This is Hopped Up Shots. All right, we've got Black Lotus Coffee Stout here by First State Brewing Company. Uh, I like the can, it's cool. It caught my attention with just the design on the front. Uh, I don't know if we're going to do anything with that, but what I'm thinking is we take the can and kind of bury it in some coffee beans. Okay, so we'll get some whole bean coffee, bury that can, and kind of just take a cool and a straight above down shot, kind of a little bit more... Uh, macro so maybe we'll pull out the 100 millimeter macro lens for that get up close and make sure that you can see the name and brewery company there of black lotus coffee stuff or state brewing and have just the coffee beans really get those senses tingling of smelling that coffee uh, and then i think number two i think we're going to get into the kitchen here i think we'll go down to my kitchen i think we're actually going to create a little breakfast scene uh, so we'll make maybe some eggs and bacon, make a little smiley face on our plate. Uh, we'll shoot towards my window so you kind of get this bright, sunny, outdoor look, you know, looking in from the kitchen. And then we'll have the can sitting here with maybe a French press, some flowers on the table. Um, yeah, I think that'll look pretty cool. So we'll get two different kind of styles there. We'll get one that's this up close tight image with the macro, and then we'll get this other breakfast style shot, which I think will, uh, give it two different looks for a, a pretty cool can there. All right, let's get down to the kitchen, start making some breakfast. All right, so this photo was more about creating a scene more than anything. Obviously, we need to get the lighting right and all of that, but I really wanted to make this feel like a morning breakfast. Uh, I'm lucky enough to have these nice big doors that let in some really nice natural light, so there wasn't a whole lot of artificial lighting needed. Uh, we ended up using some facing the scene so that we weren't just backlit, so we actually got the front of the can and the, the scene really lit. Uh, we made some bacon here. Here's a good tip on how to make some perfectly cooked bacon. Um, and then made a couple eggs and decided to make a little smiley face on the plate here just to add a little uh, fun to the shop. Um, and then again, just plating everything and making it look like this fun breakfast scene. We've got a proper stout glass there. We've got the can sitting there in a good prominent position. And then you can see we only have one light and one reflector bouncing back into the subject there. And we were all set for this one. And then for this, this is one of the easier shots you can do. This box I have it was actually holding a, a chocolate skull around Dios de la Muerte. Uh, that was a gift from somebody, but it had a nice little cutout that perfectly fits a can. We you know, covered it in the coffee beans. We pulled out the macro lens and really got in tight on this. We placed a couple of the beans strategically along the can. So it really felt like it was in there, uh, but made sure we left the uh, labels clear. Now, when we're editing here, I'm going to start here with the coffee can. We're going to rotate this and I really liked the way this came out with the natural lighting. But again, we just want to make that pop we want to make our senses tingle with the coffee beans so we brightened up the can added some clarity some saturation uh really made it stand out a little bit more 
And then the coffee beans looked great already, but I really wanted to add some texture here. Um, but yeah, that was pretty easy overall, but really liked the way that came out. Uh, the breakfast scene, I was really happy with the way this came out of camera. Uh, this was more about warming it up and brightening that can. So the first thing we did was add a little bit of warmth and then focused on the can specifically, trying to get that to stand out from the other items so you knew that was the focus point. Uh, so brightened it up a little bit, added some saturation, and then we put a radial gradient out here and then reversed it so we darkened everything around it so that the can more than anything else was the subject standing out. Uh, this whole shoot was a good example of trying to get as much in camera as possible. Uh, the editing did not take an extreme amount of time here and boom. Coffee stouts are one of my favorite beers to drink. So remember to stick around or rather show up on Thursday for our Thirsty Thursday edition where we're going to do a review of that Black Lotus Coffee Stout by First State Brewing. As always, remember to drink responsibly and we'll see you next time on Hopped Up Shots.